Ferrari always redefines the limits of the possible. The SF90 Spider is the perfect embodiment of this spirit. It merges engineering and innovation and fascinating beauty. Every single detail is aimed at achieving outstanding performance goals and at the same time those very same aspects allowed us to create a futuristic and iconic culture where form and function are perfectly integrated. This is an engineering masterpiece and the design must capture the very essence of the project. The architecture and the proportions are key elements of the design of the car, especially the very compact cabin with a kind of cab forward effect, the long tail which is emphasizing the power of the engines and the short front bonnet. Despite the technical complexity of the car, the form is clear and, and very pure, thanks to the double-layer cockpit, because we decided to keep one part of the car in body color, like a sculpture, a modern sculpture, the other part is carbon fiber, integrating all the technical and aerodynamic devices. The cockpit design respects the aesthetics of the coupe and at the same time it becomes a spider which conveys an even slicker effect to the body of the car. The extremely sophisticated aerodynamics of this car is another key aspect of the project. It has been very important to perfectly understand it in order to sculpt the beautiful shape of the supercar. For example, the airflow which surrounds the cabin naturally generates this kind of spoon cut which conveys a very sculptural effect to the body side and at the same time recalls the P3, P4 air intake. One of the characteristic elements of the Spider version are the two buttresses which are sitting on a very iconic uh, feature of this car, that is the flying bridge. It's a very architectural element which gives a forward tension that we call slingshot effect. This not only gave us the possibility to show the entire engine bay, but also to create two force lines that are defining the architecture of the rear and giving a lot of uh, stance to the car. The rear looks like a spaceship and it shows the very futuristic approach to design, especially due to the trimaran architecture characterized by the two beautiful keels and by also the exhausts that are located there to keep them very short and the lights with their very modern cut embedded into the aerodynamic slot. The search for purity brought us to even perfectly integrate the rear spoiler that is not prominent, but works by subtraction. The flying bridge creates the so-called uh, slingshot effect, which conveys a forward tension to the old body and creates the arrow shape of the front, giving a prominent and very dynamic effect to the nose. This defines the architecture of the front, where again, form and function merges perfectly and also all the aerodynamic devices are perfectly integrated into an organic vision, into an organic sculpture. There are three radiators where the first one has been emphasized because this is the radiator of the electric engine. Then the arrow shape stretches out, creating a very aeronautic effect thanks to this winglets which are integrated between the headlamps with a very futuristic and modern shape and the brake air intakes. Another very important chapter of this project is the interior, where the protagonist is the new human machine interface, a series of full digital screens, driver-oriented, perfectly organized in terms of ergonomics, which define 
the, let's say, cockpit architecture of this interior. It's interesting because when they are off, they are clean and very elegant. When they are on, they are futuristic and very modern. The design and the organization of the rest of the interior follows this architecture and there are three main elements. The carbon fiber and metal structural elements, the digital screens, and the beautiful Italian upholstery. Another fundamental part of this interior are the seats. Uh, again, a perfect merge between form and function where the paddings are very ergonomic and directly applied to the carbon fiber shells. All these elements have been conceived with a very futuristic and modern approach with the intention of giving this interior the identity of a real spaceship.